So you've hired a photographer to photograph your project, but maybe somewhere in the communication with the photographer, you start hearing terms like copyright, uh, licensing, and usage agreement. And to be honest, many times, terms like these are brought up into conversation because something may have gone a little sideways. One party may have done something with the images that the other party didn't agree to, or didn't know what the other party could or could not do with them. To be clear, I'm not an attorney and this shouldn't really be taken as legal advice per se. There will always be exceptions to the rule and unique scenarios, but for most client photographer transactions, I'm gonna try to simplify this as much as possible. Okay, so you've paid the photographer and the image files have been delivered. You now have the image files in your possession. Do you own the image? Images. Well, unless it has been explicitly written in a contract or agreement that copyright ownership has been transferred to you by default, you do not own the images. And you might say, well, wait a minute, I paid for the photos, how do I not own them? What you have paid your photographer for is a license to use the images. In that license or agreement, most photographers will allow their client to use the images on their social media, their, their website, their blog, promotional materials, etc. But more often than not, that license does not allow you to then distribute the files to other companies or other parties for them to use in their marketing, even if they're willing to pay or reimburse you to have them. But I paid for the photos. I should be able to do whatever I want with them. Not true. Again, you have a license to use the images to promote your business. You do not own the copyright. The photographer does. I have a license to drive my vehicle, but I still have to operate my vehicle within the boundaries of the law. Let's use an example. Think of it like this. You want to produce a television commercial that will run during local news to promote your company or business. The commercial is filmed, it's produced, you've done the edits, and as you look at the final cut, you realize there's something missing. You'd really like a nice song to play in the background of the commercial. So you call your friend Chris, who happens to play acoustic guitar and is a magnificent songwriter. You say, Chris, I want you to write and record an original song completely from scratch that I can play in the background of the commercial I'm making. And I'll give you $100 to do it. Chris agrees, Chris takes some time, Chris writes the song, Chris records it and sends you the audio file to use as music in the background of the commercial. A few weeks later, you get a call from a representative of a car manufacturing company. They caught your commercial and they wanna use that same exact song in a commercial that they're producing and it's eventually going to run in a nationwide campaign and they're willing to pay thousands of dollars to use it. Are you legally able to just hand over that audio file to the car company for them to use in their commercial? Absolutely not because you don't own the copyright to that song. Chris does. Chris is the one who created the song. To put it simply, for $100, Chris granted you legal permission to use Chris's song in your commercial. And that's it. You don't own the song. The same way you don't own the song Sweet Emotion by Aerosmith because you pay 99 cents for it on iTunes. If you purchase a license for accounting software to use for your business like QuickBooks, you don't now own the QuickBooks software. And since you don't own the song or the software, you're not legally able to hand off a copy to somebody else for them to use, even if they're willing to pay you. That's just not how it works. Legally, they have to purchase their own license to use it. Now you might say, wait a minute, the photos are of my project or product. The images in question are of something I worked on or I built or I designed. And while that's true, it doesn't really matter that much when it comes to copyright. What's in question is the intellectual property that's owned by the photographer, which in this case is the photo itself, not necessarily what appears in the photo. Personally, I photograph a lot of residential kitchens, so if I happen to take a photo of a kitchen and a Coca-Cola can just happens to appear on the countertop, Coke doesn't have the right to just rip the image from my portfolio and start to use it in an ad campaign. Even if I took a close-up artistic shot of a Coke can, Coke still cannot use the image without my permission. Again, what's in question is not necessarily what appears in the image, but the image itself. So I paid a photographer to shoot my project and another company wants to use that same photo. Can the photographer really charge them for an image license too? Yes, again, unless there is something clearly placed in writing against it. Yes, a photographer can sell an image license to another party. Listen, this is how we make our living as photographers. This is how we pay rent. This is how we pay our mortgages. This is how we put food on our table. If one party wants to use a product that we create, that one party needs to pay for it. Now, if 10 parties pop up and want to use our product, those 10 parties will need to pay for it. But the 
photographer already got paid by me. Why should they charge other parties who want to use the same photos? Think back to the QuickBooks software example. For round numbers and simplicity, let's say that in order for QuickBooks to cover business expenses and make a nice profit, they need to sell 1,000 software licenses. Does that mean that customer number 1001 should get it for free? No, they're not a charity, they're a business. They need to make a profit. And if they just so happen to create a product where they can make a really good profit, good for them. Another thing is, by letting other businesses use those image files for free, it's also not fair to you. You pay good money to hire a photographer to create images that you can then use to promote your company or business. Why does another company get all the benefits of using the same photos with, without having to pay anything? There are way more moving pieces to photography and copyright law, but hopefully this video somewhat simplifies the basics and fundamentals. But why should this stuff even matter to you? Why not just say, ah, forget it. I'll just go ahead and do whatever I want with the photos. Because if the photos were taken by even a somewhat knowledgeable and copyright law savvy photographer, it could cost the company big time. And I mean big. If you have a spare 10 seconds, just Google the phrase willful copyright infringement fine. You might realize it's a lot easier and a lot less costly to just do things the right way.